Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Book Review Thursdays, where I review books that I have read. Today's a really bittersweet video for me because I will be reviewing the last book in the Young Elite series, The Midnight Star. I actually just finished reading it a couple of hours ago, and I'm so sad to let go of these characters. Before I get into the actual review though, I want to go ahead and share with you guys my book signing experience that I had with Marie Lu. I got to meet her in person. It was really amazing, you guys. And as you all know, I'm a big fan of signed books. So I got this one not only signed, but personalized. No, don't look at my name. <laughs> Just kidding. Also, I'm going to be making a video that's going to be following this one where I will review all three books together and that one will be full of spoilers because I just feel like discussing the series as a whole. So like I said, I got to meet Marie Lou in person. I know that makes it sound like we had a grand conversation. It wasn't like that. It was just, you know, a book signing. But um, it was a book signing that included a Q&A and she spoke and all that great stuff. So normally when Marie Lou comes to Florida, she tends to go a lot further south to Coral Gables to a books and books store. That's the name of a bookstore, Books and Books. It wasn't just like me saying books and then more books store. Okay, I'm, I'm like rambling at this point. But I was lucky that this time she decided to come to a bookstore in Kissimmee, Florida, which is about 40, 45 minutes away from where I am. And so I was like, I'm driving there. I don't care what I have to do, but I'm going to go see her. And she went to a Books a Million that's over there. I think it's the only Books a Million that's in Kissimmee. So I got there like super early. <laughs> the book signing was at 2, but I got there around, I'm going to say 11.30 or 12, the latest, because I wanted to make sure that I got a really good spot. Um, it didn't really look like anything was going on. At first I was like, oh no, wrong day, or maybe wrong bookstore, question mark. But it was the right store, and what kind of tipped me off was the fact that there was about a million copies of Midnight Star everywhere. Because for book signings, you have to buy the book prior to getting in line to get it signed. But yeah, there was just books everywhere. So around, I want to say 1, 1.30, they did start setting up. I was able to get a really good seat in the second row. I think I was a third person. And at 2 o'clock on the dot, Marie Lu came out. And it was so amazing. She is the first author I've ever seen in person. I mean, I've met a chef author before, but it's not the same when it's a, you know, like a novel author. And she's super nice. She was just just really gracious and I absolutely love that. And you know, she shared a really cool story with us about how Young Elites was originally supposed to be about Raffaele and Enzo being brothers and losing each other and that journey of like refining each other. But through feedback, they she decided to make it instead about Adelina because the original story she had thought was a very typical hero point of view and her publisher I believe it was I don't know oh, actually it might have been her publicist her publisher oh I don't remember oh you know what I think it's in I think it's in the back of the book I'm just a mess as usual let's see let's see her agent that's who it was her agent didn't really like the original idea that she had and was like what about this Adelina character and that's how Adelina became the center focus of the trilogy and, and how it became a story, not from a hero's point of view, but from a villain's point of view. And it's like, thank you so much for that because it ended up being a really great story. So she shared that story with us. She also talked about upcoming works that she has. Next year, we should see the first book in a duology she has called War Cross which is supposed to take place not too far in the future from now and it's about to be it's about about to be it's supposed to be about two bounty hunter brothers and then in 2018 she is going to be releasing a story about the young batman in other words about bruce wayne and that's really awesome because she's literally working with dc so it's not just like oh, i just felt like writing about batman no they like they're working together to do this story about what it would be like to see what Bruce is like, was like. I feel like I've just said like about 13 times. <sighs> I, I don't know what's going on. What would... <laughs> oh no, what's going on? The story is supposed to be about watching, you know, Bruce at 18 get all this money. What does an 18 year old millionaire do with all that money? That's the gist of it. I don't know why I wasn't able to say that like 
two seconds ago, and there I went ahead and said like again. <sighs> I'm ashamed to call myself a college student at this point. After that, we got into the Q&A, and most of the questions were really typical. You know, what inspires you? What inspired the characters? How did you come up with the universe for the Young Elites? People asked questions about the Legend series. And one of those questions about the Legend series was about, you know, what happened to this potential movie that was coming out for Legend. And the truth is, I think Legend sort of lost traction a while ago because it came out during a time period where there were dystopian novels and movies just everywhere. And so that doesn't look like it's going to be happening anymore, according to what Marie Lu said. But she did say that so far there have been two drafts written up for a Young Elites movie, which I think is really cool. And I would totally go watch it if it comes out. I'm really hoping that it does come out because it's like I'm, I'm running out of films. Like Maze Runner is the film the film series that I'm watching right now and that's been postponed because the lead actor got hurt and I'm like what am I supposed to do in my life I always had something to follow something else when it ended and it's like I have nothing now I have nothing so that was the pretty much the book signing well the Q&A part of the book signing once that was over and everyone asked their questions oh I did ask a question though but it wasn't about the young elites or legend it was about the short story that she wrote for uh, Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. If I'm not mistaken, it was called The Girl Without a Face. I could be mistaken. It's something along those lines. If you don't know what um, Slasher Girls and Monster Boys is, it is a it is an anthology of horror stories. And Marie Lu participated in it, and I love that story. Actually, I love that entire anthology. I thought it was awesome. So I asked her if she had ever considered writing horror in the future. And she did say that it wasn't out of the question, but she didn't necessarily have anything in the works right now. All right, so Q&A ended, got in line to do the book signing. She thanked me for coming. I thanked her for coming. She asked me how I was. I asked her how she was. I really wanted to get a picture, but my friend disappeared on me wherever he was, and there wasn't really anyone around me to ask. I felt embarrassed to ask the person that was helping her, be like, hey, you take a picture of us? So I didn't, but I did take pictures of her, which... Maybe I have thrown in the video. I don't know. I will see how I feel about it when I go to upload this. So that's it. That was my entire book signing experience with Marie Lu. She was awesome. I hope that I get the chance to meet her again in the future. I just think she's like super gracious and just genuinely humble, nice person. I hope you guys get the chance to meet her if you are a fan of her works. All right, now to get into the actual review which is what book review thursday is about oh my god you guys it's gonna be really hard for me not to spoil this i want to so bad because i just want people to share with me how i'm feeling but i won't so what is midnight star well if you've been reading the young elites books up to now or if you've at least watched my other reviews for the young elites and then for the rose society this story follows adelina who by this point has just really descended into darkness. She's become a really awful person. But through her awfulness, she somehow managed to become Queen of Kenetra. But at the same time, she's managed to sever a lot of relationships, particularly with her sister Viol Violetta. I, I have a problem because in my mind, I read it like Violetta, but I don't know if her name is supposed to be Violetta. More or less something along those lines. So yeah. Adelina in this last book is queen. She's a really harsh queen and in trying to conquer Moraland, she's also trying to find her sister even though she doesn't like to let on that she's looking for her sister. The gist of the series, um, not the series, but the gist of this book basically without me trying to spoil too much is that Adelina finds herself back in the company of the daggers having to work with them in order to fulfill something that's very beneficial for all of them. And I'm really not going to say much more about that because I do risk spoiling it and this book is still relatively new. I know some people are still getting around to reading it. I have to say out of the three books, Midnight Star is definitely my second favorite. Um, it would have to be Young Elites, Midnight Star, and then Rose Society. Not that I didn't like Rose Society, I did, but this book it made me feel things you guys like I felt things in here and I normally don't feel that much but I did 
and it was just wonderfully written and it completely caught me off guard. I did not see the book going where it went. It was it was so bittersweet. Um, I didn't want it to end at all, but I couldn't put it down as much as I tried to like pace it out, like take your time, read it, enjoy it. But I just, I just gobbled it up. The writing was pretty much on point. I would have to say that Miss Lou is definitely getting amazing at her job at writing. It was nearly flawless. I didn't catch any mistakes. There still are some sentences that I think sound a little funny, at least in my brain, but overall really well written. Um, sometimes it would get a little bit redundant, like just not necessarily getting to the point of beating that dead horse, but very nearly, like just picking up that stick and getting ready to do it. That's maybe my only complaint in the overall story, just sometimes repeating something a little bit too much and you're thinking to yourself at this point, like, I get it. Like, I really understand the point you're trying to convey. But in this final book, we get to see a completely different landscape of this world that she has built for us. We, we get to explore different areas. And I, I really loved it. I would have to say that I give it four to five stars and the reason why I give it four to five and not complete five I don't really know how to explain it there was just something about it that felt almost like I've said this before in another review where it felt like it's a little too made up and that doesn't make any sense because at the end of the day it is a fiction novel and everything there is made up but it's almost as though the storyline was just thought up in the moment versus kind of flowing naturally. This only really happens at the beginning of this novel, only for a few chapters, and then everything flows seamlessly. So I suppose I, I could say that's my biggest complaint, and that's why I'm giving it the four out of five, but I still definitely think finish the series, finish this book, pick it up if you haven't already. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna feel a lot, but you're definitely not gonna regret it. So that is my overall review for the book. I think it's a wonderful conclusion to the story. I think that Marie Lu definitely developed these characters throughout each novel. We we've, we've saw them evolve wonderfully. Um, and I'm gonna really miss these characters. I have to say that if it were up to me, there'd be like three or four more books, but everything has to come to an end eventually and she concluded it well you know you're gonna feel that sense of loss that you always feel when a series or just a book in general ends but still satisfied of how every character's storyline has concluded um that's pretty much all i have to say for this Please go ahead and check out the other video in relation to this um, series of books if you're interested in something a little more spoily because then at least I'll have more liberty to really, you know, comment on how I feel about everything and express how the books in general just made me feel. So that's it, you guys. I hope you liked this video. I'm sorry if it was really quick. I'm just... I'm trying not to spoil anything. You know, with other book reviews that I've done, they've been for books that have been out long enough for people kind of have an idea what's going on. But for more recent books, I'm really trying to keep it at a minimum so I don't accidentally ruin it for anyone. Even though I'm not really the kind of person that gets annoyed with spoilers, I don't really care. But I know some people really hate that. So I'm trying my best to just give you a really general idea and talk more about the writing and stuff like that. But if you did like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments below. Is there any new series that I should check out? I am I do have a huge list of to-be-read books, but it doesn't mean that I'm, ev I'm never in the market to buy new books. I'm definitely always in the market to buy new books. So leave me comments if there's any recommendations. Please consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!